Oh my god, YouTube, it's been like internet silence for me. I Instagrammed a bit, but okay, let's let's talk. And I don't know what I said to you guys last because I've been kind of dead lately. Um, what happened? Where'd I go? Well, um, first of all, I would like to say I did complete two more days of no eggs. Here they are. No egg or cereal breakfast. Um, cottage cheese, half a cup. That's 11 grams of protein. So I always tell you guys I start my breakfast without carbs and with protein to, to help set the day. I am having some carbs with this. I'm having two pieces of toast with um, laughing cow cinnamon cream cheese spread on them. But I'm thinking, and I'll let you know, that the protein in that cottage cheese is going to help still set the day. So, there we go. There's breakfast. Oh, yeah. Breakfast without eggs. Cereal. This may or may not fill you up. Depends on what your day's going to be like. But, I love this breakfast. It's a handful of nuts and some coffee. That's 200 calories worth of nuts. And it's just enough to, like, get you through. It's a lot of protein. It's just good. Today, I'm going to have a lot of running in today, so a handful of nuts. Then I would like to say that in my life, there was like this perfect storm of crap. Last week was the kids' official last week of school. Shit storm of testing and um, packing. We did get um, scores back. My daughter got advanced on two things, for leap and mastery on two. Yay! And she got all above average for her end of the year testing. Yay! Okay, the the little one doesn't get scores yet, so she did great. She finished. Yay! Um, okay, so that was going on. At the same time, I was starting to get migraines. You guys know that I get migraines that are like, oh, like I can't move. I feel like I'm going to pass out. So the migraines are a bad thing. Okay, migraines. And the school. Fibro flare up. Because everything stressful turns into physical pain. I was in an extreme amount of physical pain. Um, and it was just, it, it was just like piling on, right? The straw that broke the camel's back. Um... I started my period. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even playing with you. I'm not even gonna like call it anything. It was not even a bitch week this time because I didn't even have the energy to be a bitch. I just was tired and I just wanted to cry and I was in so much physical pain. Um, I thought I was gonna vomit for several of the days. I still feel extremely nauseous. I haven't worked out since. Okay, Wednesday I was supposed to go, and I canceled because I broke my cell phone. Which, if I ever mention that at the same time that the broken phone is around, I'll show it to you guys. Because, um, I broke my phone, it spidered into all these little pieces. Well, I was still trying to use it, because it still was working, and it seems usable. Except that there were like tiny microscopic pieces between the big pieces that were like getting jammed in my fingers. So I have a new phone. Yay. Um. Yes. Yay. What am I saying to you guys? I don't even know at this point. Oh yeah. So I got a new phone. Then... Okay, so Wednesday I didn't go work out because I had to replace my phone. Thursday, I just still didn't feel good. Like, I really thought, I don't know. Like, I took my daughter for a two mile walk. She was interested in running, so we did. Um, and then Friday, I was like, girl, 
I gotta do something to my friend who I've been running with. I was like, I gotta do something because it's only getting worse and I don't know. So we went for a five mile walk, but it really was just a walk. Um, it was five miles, so I'm pretty proud of that. And then by the end of that, I hurt so bad. I was just like, no, I can't. I, um, I called in sick to Weight Watchers on Saturday and I basically just set myself up a little on my sofa and I, I smash booked some pages I'll show you photos of and um, and I just did whatever. I counted calories but I didn't count them to stay low. I just existed for a couple of days there. But you're going to hear me talk today, like in today's video, about making the decision to get better. And that is that uh, with, with fibro especially, it is so intertwined with emotions. Um, I don't, they're not what makes you hurt, but they are what um, can help you hurt and kind of keep you in that sad mind frame of like, everything hurts, I don't want to. So... I was like, today I'm making the decision, this shit is getting better. Um, and you know, I think that I needed the emotional recharge of just shutting down and letting it go. And I think that I needed just to take some time, but it's not completely gone. I still hurt. My skin hurts. I'm still cramping so bad, I don't even know, because it's been like, what? three days now it should be over um but I am gonna work out today somehow I'm gonna eat really clean because I know that, that always helps even though it's the last thing I want to deal with I'm gonna make myself get some shit done besides just my own personal shit and I'm gonna keep it moving forward and I'm gonna start by uploading this video bam Oh, and also, here's all the food that I filmed but never vlogged because I was melting down. I know you guys have got to be bored with this, but tomato sandwich for lunch. What are you thinking? This is Veggie pizza for dinner. So good. It's got tomatoes, mushrooms, spinach, cheese, and garlic. Oh, eggs, how I have missed you in the morning. It's a garden fresh scramble of um, fresh tomato, corn, garlic, and spinach with egg whites. Egg and broccoli sandwich for Brecky. Brecky! Having a smoothie for lunch and watching a criminal Mar minds marathon cabbage for dinner 